What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip <clears throat> shipwreck van dam here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing some more Atlas peeps. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. It's a beautiful day on the high seas. And if you like high seas stuff and things, smash the thumbs up button. If you watch the video and you love it, don't forget to subscribe as well. We're back on the galleon. Big Brenda is a thing. Huh. Whoa! Oh, okay. That might not have been the best idea. We're back on Big Brenda. It's the thing. And we're up here in Bitter Booty Bay. So, the company... Oh, dude, we got new icon stuff and things. There's been some updates. So, some stuff while I'm going, while I'm talking to you guys about the update stuff, I might be like, oh, shiny thing. So, um, our company, the Booty Barnacles, is growing quite large. We've topped out at around 180 people. And during the day... We have around 15 to 20 people online uh, at night. It gets up into the 60s and 70s, but we've started to spread out and it's an amazing day up here. We are in currently uh, B1 and this is one of the satellite bases we're trying to make. Um, the B1 region is one of the least populated regions on the server. And so we're trying to move some people out of C2 because that region's been having some really hard lag issues because of um, a huge amount of people have decided to, to drop there, including our company, obviously, which is a lot, but there's more than just us in that area. And you can see there's a huge amount of our people here, man. We have people all over all the islands. Um, we started a new satellite base also down in C3. So we're encouraging people to move down to this C3 island um, and set up some camps there. Um, and there was an update today. So uh, there's some new stuff and things going on. So yeah, up in the bitter cold area here in C or B1 words, um, but it's kind of an interesting uh, design. The oceans are quite cold, but this island in particular is not very, very cold. Um, it is a uh, temperate or tropical. I think it's temperate island that they've put up into a polar region. So it's actually kind of warm over here. Let's go ahead and take a trip over. Oh, yeah, baby. Look how unbelievable and amazing we are. Oh, it looks like there's... Some scurvy dogs in and around the area. All right, so we're up over here now, and some people are getting, stuff and things are happening, guys. People are shooting stuff. People are doing stuff. Schooner or later, lol. And then there's a couple of things here. It looks like there's a brigantine being built. Um, and then there's this guy. Look at this guy, man. I want a freaking blue giraffe so bad. Um, all right, so some of the updates of the stuff and things. There's a huge amount of things that have changed, but pretty much I think the finer points are there's been a lot of changes to the way that claim flags work. Let's pop over here and see if we can see any of that. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what this is going to look like because I haven't checked it out yet. But now if we... Wait, are we able to with this guy in our way? It says change territory building allowance to company only. So we can change if just the company or other people are allowed to build in the territory. Um, ocean territory claim flag owner, the booty barnacles. Zach, it actually shows who placed it now. That's amazing. And then you can change the rank of it so other people can't um, building allowance. Okay, wait, building allowance is everybody. Okay, so you can change the rank of it so other people can't change um, the messages or things like that if you wanted to do that. And then it has a company ID and it says claim uh, build allowance everyone. And so that way everybody who comes over here can build. So check it out, peeps. These guys have been working really hard. A majority of this stuff wasn't even done yesterday. Um, but there's some great buildings in the area. The Bitter Booty Bay is coming along quite nicely. We have a nice little community area over here, which is pretty nice and has all the stuff and things that we need. Coal generators. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. You think you got what it takes? Dude, is that guy dead? Dude, did this guy just die? Oh, my God. All right. Oh, beautiful blue parrot. I don't have any other things to do any other things. So, um, yeah, we got some cool stuff and things going on over here. They've made little areas, and you can see there's the tannery. There's the armory. Over here is the raw materials. Uh, and then up here, they made little bed areas. It's pretty cool. There's personal storage. You can dump your items. And then in here, they've made like little almost like hotel rooms where you can log out. It's great. These guys have been doing a great job setting up the satellite base. And this island right here is not very uh, cold. So, uh... Oh, that's an advanced options, too. We can turn off that spam in the upper right hand, uh, upper left hand window. And I can't remember exactly where it is, but I'll turn it off here in a second. Can I actually still see? It says right there, Eastern Tropics, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very hard to read. 
So um, that means that we're pretty much GTG as far as um, the cold while you're on the island. When you move off the island onto a ship, it is not nice, and it is very cold, um, and you need the fur armor. Uh, we also have our vitamin boost. So we have right now a huge amount of fortitude, 55.3, and that comes from two different places, actually. It comes from our vitamin boost, but it also comes from our parrot. The parrot gives you a fortitude boost. Now, I'm pretty sure the parrot, the parrot pardon me, gives you a fortitude boost of 5.3. My fortitude is 20. Uh, from the vitamin boost, I get 30. And then from the parrot, I get 5.3 as well. So pretty cool that we get a little bit of extra stuff and things there. Let me see if I can pop over here like so. Go like this. Uh, two and three. Put those guys away. And then huh, can we make it all the way back to Big Brenda? So the next thing that I want to talk to you about was... I think we are going to be able to make it all the way back to Big Brenda. I want to talk to you about um, there was a level cap increase... And then also, huh, we've done it. Unbelievable and amazing. So there was a level cap increase. Um, and there was also a uh, Engram points, basically, increase. So we have a lot more Engram points now. And we have all of our levels reset for this update. Now, I have started to do some stuff with my skills. I've opened up a few of the different trees here. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of tip. If you're having trouble understanding this spaghetti... Uh, feel free to head over to atlascalculator.com. It's not like a, I'm not, it's not sponsored. We don't own the website or anything like that. But uh, somebody set up this, the website atlascalculator.com and it is a very crisp, clean way to take a look at um, all the different skill trees and how you can pump those guys. So right now, I think I've got into uh, the advanced vitamin depletion rate because food is, ba uh, is a big concern and that really helps with those sorts of things. I've opened up construction and mercantilism, and I've got into, I think, seamanship. And then under in seamanship, I've gone all the way and unlocked down into advanced shipwright for the brigantine. Um, I think I need to... Yeah, I've got to unlock this too. All right, we'll go ahead and unlock that guy, the expert shipwright, so we can get the large wood ship decks and the large wood planks. Um, we're going to need those. Does this give you large... Where are the gun ports? Let me see here. Large wooden gun ports. It looks like they're already unlocked. If we go inside of here, we can see large gun ports, seamanship under gun ports. So we should be good to go there. Uh, we also have Captain Nearing, which gives us the ship resource box, the food larder. Um, I do want to go into music and dance because... Oh, wait, what? Can I not do it? Oh, I need the lieutenant's platform. Pop that guy. Oh, we've already got it opened up. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, accordion, and then I think we need catchy tune, increases the duration of buffs granted by the musical instruments. Inspiring music increases the radius of the area the music songs give. Something, something, I didn't read it all the way. Uh, yeah, I just want to be able to play the accordion. I think there's one more skill that I need. I also have gotten into piracy because I want to start kind of changing the way that I play Atlas. And one of the things that I'm really interested in unlocking right here is the advanced knowledge of the old ones. So this gives you an increase to damage against Army of the Damned. It says 20% here. Now, it also gives you, I think here you can get 20%. Here you can get 20%. So I think that would be a cumulative of 60% damage. And there's a bit of scuttlebutt around the Discord about whether that works on crew members that you're uh, on a ship that you're captaining. And um, some people are saying it does. I don't know if it does or not. So we're probably going to test that. Uh, and if it doesn't work out, we do have our respec. Uh, they've also added, I think, in the patch notes, it said 50 total levels. So that's a total of 101 levels now. Was it the cap before 50? I don't know. There was a cap, I think, of 51. You can gain more levels. Uh, you can lift the cap by exploring. So exploring would help you to lift the cap. So actually, it says to me right here, max level 70. Hmm. So I, not, my, I might not have the right information there as far as what the level cap is now. But it is a lot higher. Um, and so you're going to be able to get a lot more skill points. So the first thing that I'm going to do today, now that I've explained to you all the stuff and things, um, is I'm going to go through all my skills, and I'm going to go ahead and pump them and see what I can get into um, and see what kind of stuff I take. And then I'll tell you what I took. Oh, looks like Saboa's coming over to get some hot Saboa action. Saboa's coming over to do some stuff and things. Um, I went ahead and went through some of the trees. I'm not exactly sure if I'm totally happy with what I've got unlocked. 
But this is what we did. Survivalism, construction and mercantilism. We got melee weapons. We've got archery in order to get firearms. We have some artillery now. Seamanship, captaineering, basic cooking, some basic music, and some piracy. So I've unlocked the, uh, you can see there, the cooking skill, all the vitamins. That's what I have in the tier one. We did the cooking skill. We got advanced tools. We got the archery unlocked. We unlocked archery just so that we could get to firearms. Um, in melee weapons, I just unlocked the basics or the basics of one-handed weapons. So um, that's the only thing that I took over here under firearms. I went ahead and unlocked a few. We got to artillery, improved firearm studies, which I don't think I really needed. But I unlocked that to get down here to the basics of blunderbuss because I want to start playing around with that. I think the blunderbuss is going to be like the shotgun and arc. And it's really going to be maybe better for what I want to do than the carbine. And I don't have enough po points to get the secrets of the carbine unlocked. Um, so then over under armory, I geez, probably should get at least that guy. And then armor upkeep. What is that? Temperate armor. Oh, temperature penalty decrease. Decrease. That's a speed decrease. So yeah, we're running low on points. I want to save some of them. In artillery, I got the basic cannons, the swivel gun studies, and we unlocked the ship and ammunition container. We went down and got bigger cannons, and I think that's all in there for now. Under seamanship, we unlocked captaineering, and then I got a bunch of different sails going. Uh, we unlocked the gun ports, the large gun ports, and we went down to large speed sail and extra expert shipwright so we can get the galleon. Uh, under captaineering, we got the lieutenant's podium to get the um, musical unlocks, and then the basics of crew. I also unlocked talented crew which increases the speed at which the NPCs can handle the, the sails on the ship. Uh, and it also, I think here, it's the sail turn speed and the raise and lower speed. Uh, and I went ahead and went that, uh, got that unlocked until level three. Uh, under cooking, I think we just took the basics of cooking, basics of, wait, I took basics of farming to get, pres uh, yeah, to get the preservatives so I can make the preserving bags and the preserving salt. I think we're done in there. Music, we just have the basic instruments unlocked and under piracy, we got that to get the musical instruments. And then I went ahead and unlocked knowledge of the old ones all the way to level three. So we can see if that's actually going to give us increased damage against the ships of the damned. So that's kind of the update of all the skills that we have. Now, I kept 12, I think it was, 14 skill points available in case I need to do something. Um, and then the plan moving forward for me is going to be to build a brigantine and pilot that, or pardon me, crew that with NPCs. And I'm going to live at sea. I want to I wanna hang out with the peeps, but mostly I'll be living at sea on the Brigantine. Um, we'll have some room for some uh, non-NPC crew on there if people want to hang, of course. But the majority of what I'll be doing will probably be if I want to get on and I want to go out and do some adventuring. With the Galleon, we really need people. Uh, right now we have 37 out of 59 crew. And you can crew the Galleon completely with NPC players. Um... But I'm not ready to do that. This ship's too important to us and our company. I feel like it really should be a community vessel uh, and not just something that I take out and make my own or anything like that. So I think a brigantine will be better for us. And I have some ideas about what we're going to do for our build in order to make the brigantine unbelievable and amazing. Uh, I think somebody took down one of the other dinghy kit holders because we didn't need two. We definitely don't need two. We honestly don't need one. Um, the dinghies are not very effective. Uh, but yeah, so with all those things being said, we're going to go ahead and shove off here. Um, I'm going to give a call out to everybody in the uh, in the Bitter Bay area. Let me see here. Uh, Bitter Booty Bay Barnacles. How do you spell barnacles? Uh, Big Brenda. There's a lot of bees here. Is uh, setting sail. For Booty Bay. In five minutes. There we go. So we're going to be setting sail back to Booty Bay where we're going to be working on our brigantine. There are so many bees in our life here in Atlas. I almost want to call it Batlas. All right. So we're going to head out and uh, we'll be our bees, peeps. Look how amazing she is. Every time I get behind the wheel of Big Brenda, I cannot tell you how amazing it feels to have built this with the community. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. To have built this with the community, um, it's just amazing. It, she is so beautiful and so unbelievable and amazing. 
Um, thank you guys for helping in the booty barnacles to get her built. Just so you know what we got going on, the sun is rising. Let me go ahead and am I, there we go, like so, like so. We're going to be heading southeast pretty much, almost straight southeast. Uh, this is where we are right now. We're heading right down through here. We're going to probably clip the C1 region and then try to get right into C2. So pretty much southeast. And we should be home in about an hour, probably, maybe. All right. There's the world border, peeps. I got to get behind the wheel. And we're back. We're in C2. It's been a bit. Are we far enough not to beach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Uh, hold on. Well, I think she knows that now. Uh, so this is, I guess, one of the Power Stone Islands. And I don't know exactly what that's all about. But it's kind of like where the boss stuff and things go on, I guess. There's Cyclopses and other creatures on it. Isn't that cool, man? Such a cool deal. And uh, I was disconnecting while changing regions. I was having a problem. So we went ahead and um, unlocked the galleon. Normally only admins can t can uh, do stuff and things on it. Hold on, guys. Everybody's having combos. It's all, it's all good, but I'm trying to talk to you guys, so I'll just turn that down for a second. So um, I was disconnecting between regions, and no one else was, and no one can pilot the galleon. So we unlocked the galleon for everybody to pilot. It's probably the best practice whenever we take it out to just go ahead and do that. But this is our home island right there. This is the little walkway that goes up to the top. So we need to come in over here, right in that area, in order to make it back home. But look at this thing, man. It's so amazing. I was asking, on the ships of the dam, you can actually see... I don't know if you can see it from here. When you get closer, you can see there are cannons. And I was like, I wonder if you can mount... I wonder if anybody can get on them. And then one of our guys, Mackie, just jumped off. He didn't have any gear on or anything like that. So he jumped off, but he was too slow to catch up to the ships of the dam. So we don't know if you can actually get on those guys or not. Who is this deal over here? Oh, it's Paraceratherium! All right, so I'm going to climb down. But it's been really nice. Every time we've been on the galleon so far, I've been captaining it. And so it's been kind of cool to have Saboa doing some things over there and the crew is doing some things. We're not really getting into any fights. We're just kind of making our way back to base. Uh, and we're back at Booty Bay. Pretty much unscathed. We're going to go ahead and slowly bring Big Bertha in and park her offshore over here. It looks like we can anchor right here, but I don't want to block the bay. We're going to pick our sails down a little bit more. Really want to do this slowly as possible. I think they may have increased the anchoring depth. I feel like that maybe was a thing. I'm not sure. I've tried to anchor in here before and I wasn't able to. We'll drop the sails even more. We'll start heading to starboard a little bit. And just really slowly. I don't like I don't want to like accidentally crash the deal. So we try to go real slow. Just take it nice and easy. And then when we're probably perpendicular with this guy right here. There it is, baby. Land ho! We're back. We're back to the land of no frames. Drippingly moist. Someone keeps changing those. Good. Because now we can change it so they can't change those. Uh, let's go ahead and take off maybe our spyglass. And then we'll go ahead and equip this bad ombre. Turn that guy off. And then you may have noticed, rip the frames. Oh, wait. Before we go, hold on a second. We are going to want to head over to the wheel. And just make sure that only our our administration staff people are able to access that. So that way no one's like no one can get into the company and take the galleon. Uh wait, what? I was just going up. Come on, man. Let's go up over here. So the first thing I want to do today, well, beyond talking to you guys about what's been going on, is we do want to see if we can start on the brigantine. Um, I'm interested to see if uh, I know some people had said that they were gonna start gathering resources for it, which is amazing. And thank you guys so much for doing that. Friggin' legendary champions. Huh. We can come over here and see if we're ready to brigantine or not. Like a so. Oh, dude, we took damage still? I was doing my, my very, very best. All right. I think you should be able to toggle the wingsuit on and off while it's in your hotbar. Uh, just the thing that I was thinking about. But over here, now we have a booty barnacle high. Unsinkable and not for sale are our community ships. And then Brenda? Where's regular Brenda? Dude, where did Brenda go? Well, somebody probably took her out because Brenda is a community ship as well. So people who want to go ahead and take Brenda out can do that. Uh, now let's take a look in here. There's Mackie. 
What's up, man? You're a freaking hero. Mackie, Mackie tries to take on ships of the damned all by himself. <laughs> all right, so let's pop in here and take a look and see. There's the brigantine. And it looks like we need 1,500 fiber, 200 something metal. What do we got going on over here? We could probably just get... Can I E down here? Okay, we should be G's. Let me see about what we have inside of this bad ombre. That's gunpowder. Uh... We can grab this guy. We can grab this guy. Grab some of this extra wood, like so and like so. Come down inside of here. All right, so that is the fiber is sorted. We're gonna need more thatch. And it's night. <laughs> so we're almost ready to go here, I think. Go ahead and start this, girl. There it is right there. So there's the galleon. Here's the brigantine. Bam, he's done it. Oh yeah, hot brigantine action. I'm really hoping that we can set the brigantine up to be a destroyer of SODs and a, um, I don't know, I think it'll just be a fun ship to have out at sea. We're gonna set it up with speed sails. I wanna make this into a PVP thing. Completely ready to rock and roll and battle ready and also able to be piloted by just a single person. I think that will be a really fun way to get it set up. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna make this into my home. This is gonna be my home on the high seas. Um, I'll probably will have a home base somewhere. I'm thinking about doing it in a piratey way. I might do it to um, in a way where I don't tell anybody where my secret buried treasure is. So that might be a fun thing to do as well. Um, let me go ahead. Let me see here. Do we have anything that's empty? I'm going to squirt some of these blueprints in. Eh, yeah, just to get them out of the inventory like so. All right. So all of those things are G's, but we're going to have to start the process yet again. The galleon process was very, very long. Making all the things took days and days. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get the brigantine done in one episode. Um, I will go ahead and start to make with the materials that we have right here. And again, a shout out to the community for helping to do these things. And I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, we got planks. We do need, I think it is. We, I don't know which plank it is. Is it a large plank or a medium plank? I don't want to build the wrong one. Okay, so looks like it's going to be medium plank. I think uh, medium planks, pardon me, uh, medium decks, and then we can do large sails on this guy. And I think it's a total of 40 of the medium plates. Let's go ahead and just take a look here real quick. Hold on. Also, it must be high tide. Uh, let's pop back over here yet again. And, uh, okay. So one. Oh, is it like one? Okay. Let's do it up here. One, two, three. Why do you hate me, game? All right, now we can do it down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 20 planks for the bottom part, and then we're probably going to want to put some of the gun ports um, in there as well. And I think we're going to do a lot of cannons on this thing, depending on how the weight's going to work. Um... So we'll put a lot of cannons in for sure. But for now, at the very least, we can start to go ahead and put these plates in. I'm going to leave the back plates off. That way, if somebody happens to get stuck inside, they'll be able to get out. But we have, what, four of these bad ombres to start. That means we're 10% the way there. All right, guys. First and foremost, you know that super annoying text at the upper left-hand corner of the screen? Oh, yeah. You can get rid of it. I didn't know. Somebody told me. So you can go into your options. And you go here and you go to uh, show tutorial hint text. And then go ahead and de-check that, uncheck that, and go ahead and save. And you, bam, you're, geez, you're good to go. Super unbelievable and amazing. You guys, I have crafted up, uh, I think, all the things that we need. We actually don't need eight of these. We, need not, uh, we don't need nine of these. We need eight. Pop that over here like so and like so. And then these guys, I think we need all 12. Can I carry them all? Oh, no, we cannot. All right, so let's pop these guys back there like that. Having only... Wait, did I only get eight? I was trying to just get rid of one. This is a terrible disaster. Like so. Like so. Like so. He's done it. All right, so we need to put these guys here and here. And then we'll do that on the other side as well there. And right there. And then we need to do two on the front on each side. Oh, oh crap. This is a mistake. Okay, we'll have to fix that here in a second. Uh, it's going to burden me. So we'll go like that and like that. And then we got to go on the other side and do these guys 
Like so and like so. All right. Now, that should make 12 more uh, places. This is a mistake uh, deal. Medium wooden plank demolished. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not that burdened, but it did give us a bunch of weight there. So now, the other piece that we need in order to make this happen on the exterior is 12 gun ports, of which we have created inside of here. Go drop all these resources back inside and grab our 12 gun ports. Are we still G's? I think we're still good to go. So over here, like this. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the crap just happened? Holy weird. That was very strange. Should be able to just pop up on this guy. And then yump over. Look at the parking job these guys did. What a great parking job. All right. So now... There's all of our gun ports on that side. This is actually coming together quite unbelievable and amazing. I'm surprised that we got this far. Like this, like that, like this, like that, like this, like that. He's done it. And then now, turn that guy off. We have the three pieces of decking. And I have those guys inside of here. So three pieces of medium decking. And then we're going to be able to get a better idea, you know, about exactly how big this guy is going to be. Whoa. We can't carry three pieces of decking? You're kidding me, man. All right, it's way too slow. I was going to walk over there, but I guess not. How much does that even weigh? 300? Do we have anything else? Nah, maybe we'll just get rid of one. Okay, can we go now? Feels good, team? Oh, yeah. So now we can pop up over here and just place these guys in. I know in some... I have heard you're not supposed to place the decking until later in some instances. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So there's the bottom piece. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. Okay. And then can we tee that into a different shape? It looks like only Q is available. So then we can Q down here. And then there's... Oh, there is a T available for this guy. We're just going to go with the standard deal. I feel like that's going to be the best option for us. And then we need just the one more. And that will be a majority of the ship finished. Um, wow. Holy crap. Okay, so let's grab this guy. Like so. And again, I think we'll use the, the more completed template... For the ship here because we could probably make it a little bit more open there we go so check it out don't want to fall inside of there is no way out we'll have to get some stairs going here interesting i love how these are offset i can already see it would probably be really cool to build a stairway that goes down and then maybe stops and goes down again uh in the center here i think we'll just have stairways at the front and the back i don't think we'll do a stair system in the center we'll have to see how it goes but there's still a lot to be done. A, a, a serious amount to be done. Um, we have to get storage going. We have to get cannons built. We have to get ammo for the cannons. We need the sails. I think with this brigantine, we're just going to go with large speed sails. And that's it. I don't think we're going to do anything else. I'm also interested to see statistically. <gasps> 15,000 weight. So it's about half of the galleon. Um, our galleon has like 30... 30... 2,000 or 33,000 because we pumped it. But yeah, it's about half the weight of the galleon. Um, and then interestingly enough also, dude, Captain Booty Grabber, that kid. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, there's like probably 15, maybe 40 gun ports on that guy. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12. That's all we're going to have. So we're going to have to build, in addition to doing the stairs and all those things and the sails, we're going to have to build some raised platforms on the back and the front uh, for cannons. We're absolutely going to need forward-facing and rear-facing cannons. And then I think we might also build platforms on the side to add additional cannons um, to the sides. So I don't think we're going to go with just the 12 smalls that we have. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. We might take it out for a couple runs and see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited. We have a... Big, big chunk of this bad ombre already done. That's going to be it for today, ladies and gentle peeps. There's the beginning of our beautiful brigantine. We're going to name it Brenda as well. <laughs> There's so many bees in this game. Bertha should have been. We should have called it Big Bertha. That would have been the galleon. And then Big Brenda, the brigantine. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm having a blast playing Atlas. Thank you for helping to support the channel by smashing the thumbs up button. And subscribe if you liked hanging out. I hope that you guys are having fun on Salvation. And special thanks to LogicServers.com for all of our server hosting needs. There's a link in the down there. You can use the code SLIP to get 20% off your first month if you want to get a server where it doesn't have to be Atlas for anything. 
for logicservice.com. Huge shout outs to everybody who supports on Patreon and Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. May the stuff and things be with you.